I want to show you the awesome haul that I picked up from Marshall. It's mostly makeup. Actually, it's all makeup. Um, and I have been on this kick where I just want to get all of the pretty things. <laughs> and I ended up finding a really cool palette, some real pretty um, lip glosses, or I think they're lip glosses. Anyway, I'll show them to you. Oh, and this brush cleaner and um, a lip liner and you'll see you'll see it all anyway most of this is from my Marshalls I did get one thing from Burlington Coat Factory and let's just go ahead and get on to so it. the first thing I want to show you is this insta clean brush cleaner um, I got this for $4.99 let me show it to you what it is is it's an insta clean it's a dry cosmetics brush cleaner your go-to brush cleaner. Easily remove any product on your makeup brush with no dry time. Switch in between application and on the go for a beautiful, well, fin well blended finish. It's like this, um, let me see if you can see it. I gotta find my camera on my phone. Anyway, it's like this um, Brillo pad kind of feel. It's dry, I used it once already, so the other side has makeup on it. I don't know how well you're gonna get to see it maybe there you will but um yeah I have been looking for something to use in between um, my makeup and I'm not wearing any today I'm giving my face a break I did go a couple days with makeup and I had a little bit of an outbreak so I wanted to be safe and let it breathe um, so I've been using this in between blending and colors and it's, it's been really fun and I really like it it's a nice in between from when I'm cleaning my brushes to when I'm using my brushes. Um, I have yet to find a brush cleaner or sterilizer that I really like the smell of without it being overly chemically and that's where I found this guy. Oh, I also got my very first Makeup Forever product. It's the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Artiste Plexi Gloss Duo. It's a Duo Artiste Plexi Gloss, two mini Artiste glosses. They are in these colors. It's called 209 and 403. One's a real pretty pink, one's a real pretty red. And see, look how cute the packaging is. And this was on clearance for four bucks. I'm not gonna say no to clearance. I love clearance. It's like almost my middle name, I tell you. Um, when I dropped it. When we were shopping, I had one second. Ooh, and I'm back. Um, when we were shopping, I had my daughter Anna, who you've seen on here countless times, I had her go through and I had her make sure that they were inside of the box because how many times have we been in a Marshalls or TJ Maxx and we've seen open makeup and, you know, Kat Von D is a big one that people like to take and it kind of bums me out because I used to work retail and I hated thieves. I couldn't stand it. It's like, come on, man. Come on. So the first one is this pretty pink. It um, doesn't have a name. It just literally says 209. So let's take a look here. I like the paddle. Um, it's got a little nick in the, in the paddle itself so you can see the arrow. It kinda, it kinda looks like an artist paddle, which is pretty cool. Um, it feels kind of sticky but it goes on nice and smooth Let's see oh and on the bottle there's these really cute little clicks so you can literally feel the brush closing so there's the pink one that's a very bright like bubblegum in your face pink I like that when I'm feeling daring because I'm usually a nudes girl here's the red and these are just teeny tiny little guys and I don't really wear lipstick all that often or lip gloss. I'm more of a chapstick kind of girl because my lips get dry, especially riding the motorcycle. And there's the red. Can you see that? It's going this way. <gasps> there we go. So they're very high gloss. Um, they feel a little sticky, but it's okay. They smell really good. Um, yeah, I would definitely wear these. And I'm glad they're really small and they're only $4. Because, like I said, I don't wear it that often. And it'll be a nice color change. Because everybody needs an awesome red. 
Now the next thing I found was an e.l.f. beauty brush, and it's a lip brush. It was only a dollar. So I have a lot of brushes. I take that back. <laughs> I don't have a lot of brushes. And I'm always on YouTube looking for ones that I think will help me in the long run and help me understand the whole makeup world more because when I was a teenager I didn't really wear makeup. I wore eyeliner and one thing of um, eyeshadow. I didn't blend or put like four different colors on or any of that. I just put blue or purple or pink or whatever float my boat at the time, put on some dark eyeliner and mascara and that's it. I didn't put on foundation, I didn't put highlighter, I didn't contour, I didn't do any of that crap because I was young and I didn't think I needed it. Now I need it a little bit because there's a lot of not of the same color going on on my face. <laughs> anyway, so here's this brush. Um, it's a lip brush. It's got this little stopper on the bottom you can hear. You can hear the brush go up. At first when I opened it, I'm like, oh my god, my brush is broken. Because I pushed this guy and I saw a little bit of the brush. See? See a little bit of the brush? And I was upset. I'm like, oh my god, it's busted. And then genius me puts the lid on. Ba bam Your brush. Look at that. I like this brush. I can't wait to use it. I hope I can find a um, gloss or a lipstick that I can use it with. And I'm going to apologize if this gets dark because I'm in my bedroom and like the light behind me is ridiculously bright. The sun's kind of coming in and out because it's been raining all day. So apologies ahead of time. <laughs> but anyway, here's the brush. It's really soft. I'm excited to use it. And I like the fact that it goes inside of itself because if you can see back here, way back in the corner, are my brushes. And my cats are jerks and they like to chew on them. And I don't like that. So I have been hiding them and leaving them inside the plastic. Like you can see with all of the um, wet and wild brushes, all the white ones here. here here's like the wet and wild brush that I was talking about. Um, I still have it inside of the plastic and it's not good for the bristles because the bristles need to like be out in the air and move and not be so compressed. Well, my cat Dino loves to chew on things. Drives me nuts. Anyway. Back to my favorite find. I have been watching a ton of the videos where people go shopping at their local Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Ross and um, Nordstrom Rack and they have found palettes upon palettes upon palettes. I find some palettes at both. Um, some of them are BH Cosmetics, but they're more like this and I don't know, I don't like the smell of them. Am I conceited? <laughs> anyway, I didn't really care for the smell. So I'm not gonna pursue and looking for more BH Cosmetics. And I always see these W7 palettes that are supposed to be dupes for the um, uh, Naked palettes. I don't see the dupes and I've seen people use them and try and blend out colors and they're not as smooth and I'm just not a fan of that. If I'm going to get something, I want to make sure I get the real thing. I'm a makeup snob. <laughs> so anyway, here is the Cat Eyes by Too Faced. It's a small little compact. It has shadows and liners. It's three steps, three looks, and three minutes. Um, it's got three wet, dry cat eyeliners in it. And I use this. The following day, I had to go to my second job. And I picked it up and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wear this tonight, see how it goes, see how they blend out. And that's where I realized that my brushes are not as good as I thought they were. And I'm just using like the eco tools. I just picked them up at Walmart. They're eight bucks. Do you really see what $8 of a brush does? I mean, I see people rant and rave over... Um, a whole bunch of ones that they find at Walmart and the, like the dollar store and how they compare to their stigma brushes and I don't know I, I'm, I seem to be hit and miss with them so maybe I gotta do more research anyway back to this awesome palette see that see that cuteness right there <laughs> alright I don't know how well you're gonna see 
There we go. So this is a, this is Day Classic and Fashion. Um, the Day comes with colors called Purr, Tiger's Eye, and Leopard, and this side here is your Wet Dry. So this is Leopard. Um, the Classic side has Meow, Pussycat, Jungle Love, and Fashion has Kitten, Kitty Glitter, and Panther. And it has a mirror. It's like right up here behind this little guy. See? So I'm not going to blind everybody with the mirror. There we go. And inside of this, it's like how-to looks and how-to guides. And it was really cool. I put them on and oh my lord, these ladies are not kidding. When it comes to their makeup, they are buttery smooth. They were very easy to blend out, even on my sweaty face right after I finished one job to go to the second job. My favorite colors so far would have to be, oh, so smooth. Here's Purr. Look at that. Look at that. It's like barely there. I can almost use that for a highlight for how light I am. Um, here's Kitten. I feel like an actual makeup channel right now. <laughs> so there's Kitten. Again, it's a little a little bit on the light side. Again, with the light. This isn't working. So let's grab Pussycat. Pussycat is a very light, very um, not in your face purple and it's easily, easily built. So there's Pussycat. Let's cut this way. Oh, yay, there are the colors. Right there. So, and I mean, it's got the the kitty glitter. See? It's got a little bit of a blue. A little bit of a blue there. And what I'll do is I'll take a picture of this palette and I'll just insert it here so that way you can see it. And maybe some swatches from another person that's done it. But I'm not kidding. This palette was $14.99 and it retails for $25. $25. I'm, I'm like beyond excited for that. Oh, let me see if I can get a retail on this one. Probably not. This I only think, this I think doesn't retail for much. I think it's like 10 bucks maybe. And the last thing I picked up was at my Burlington Co. Factory. There we go. I didn't really find anything at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx seems to be a hit and miss kind of thing for me. But... That's besides the point. And um, so way back in the day, I forget when these started, uh, Formula X came out with these nail lacquer stickers. These were supposed to be like Jamberry. And I think everybody, all the nail polish brands, they all had their own. And these were my favorite because they seemed to stick the longest. Don't get me wrong, I liked Jamberry, but I wasn't... I don't know, I didn't like the patterns, or I didn't like the way they felt, or they left really funny residue. Maybe I was just doing something wrong, which is more than likely what happened. So I found these guys, and I am so upset that Sephora is getting rid of Formula X. They're discontinuing the brand as some of my favorite nail polishes whatsoever. I love their top coat and their base coat. I'm going to have to make sure I stock up on it if I find it ever again. So these guys... It's a 3D texture and it's like a camo type feel to it. It tells you how to apply them. I had these before in like a checkered pattern. I just wanna open it so you can see it better. As I was saying, I had these before in a checkered pattern and I loved them. Like they were fun and exciting and I, I think I wore them for literally three weeks and I didn't have any problems. But there's the pattern. I don't know how well you're going to see it. I'll see if I can find a, a, um, a picture and put that in too. But here you go. And they're sealed, so I know nobody tampered with them. And they gave directions, and there's like a file and a little um, orange stick to push your cuticles back and help get them flat. I really liked these, and I hope I can find them again. This was 99 cents. 99 cents. I remember going to Sephora and finding them on clearance for like five bucks. I got them for 99 cents. 
I think I've gone to Target and got, or not Target, but to TJ Maxx and picked them up for like $2.99, $3.99. And that was where I found the checkered pattern. So, that was my haul. Not bad for the tiny little makeup haul that it was. My favorite item by far is still this beautiful palette. Tell me what you think. Have you used this palette or have you used the Makeup Forever um, Artiste line of lip glosses? Or have you used the brush? Tell me. I'm dying to know because I'm very much so a makeup amateur. <laughs> Um, I don't wear it every day, and I'm very jealous of the ladies that can make it look like you're, you know, saying your ABCs. They make it look so easy, and I try, and I try to duplicate what they do with the palettes that I do have, and it just fails <laughs> in comparison. So as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, don't, also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that way you get notified every single time I upload a video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.